Welcome to a sunny and windy Canary Wharf. This week has been all about apprenticeships. It's the seventh National Apprenticeship Week this week. At Premier Inn in London, Boris Johnson revealed to IB Times UK that he would have wanted to be a carpenter. Now, which I learned it, you know, dovetailing, yeah. you know, mortise and tenon, okay. difficult. Meanwhile, apprentice winner Tim Campbell claimed reality TV cannot give instant success to young people but apprenticeships could set them on the path to success. What we're offering through apprenticeships is a real opportunity to grow, develop and earn money at the same time. With more than 900,000 young people out of work, Charlie Mullins of Plimico Plumbers believes apprenticeships are a great way to get youngsters back into the workplace. And Charlie Mullins says only a hefty government-backed scheme and funds will pull down unemployment rates. Mullins told IB Times UK he's working with David Cameron and George Osborne on a government-backed apprenticeship scheme that could potentially half the number of jobless young people across the country. As expected this week, a number of companies have come out and said they're going to boost their apprenticeship numbers. Building Materials giant Travis Perkins told IB Times UK the largest number of apprenticeships for the employer this year would be in its general merchanting division. With 105 management apprentices recruited for its two-year scheme, up from 40 in 2013 and 30 in 2012. Elsewhere, technology giant Fujitsu will more than double its graduate workforce for 2014 in a bid to help tackle youth unemployment in the UK and Ireland. In addition, telecommunications heavyweight BT has pledged to create more than 1,000 new apprenticeships and graduate jobs as part of a major recruitment drive aimed at young people in the UK. As the economy picks up, we're going to see a lot more apprenticeship positions. Good news for business, and think tank Demos claims hundreds of thousands of new apprentices in England would boost the UK's GDP by £4 billion a year. Thanks for tuning in. For more business news, check out ibtimes.co.uk.